Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. I'm Glenn and this is Lisa. We sold our house, got rid of all our stuff and moved on to a narrow boat called Nutshell. So this is another two week special. We've got a couple of weeks of footage that I'm going to cram into one video. Interesting. What's been your favourite day? Or your favourite thing out of the last two weeks? Um, a couple of things. We went to the artist table event, which was good because we haven't seen Nicola for a long time. So that was cool to see her and she's doing all right. And the other thing went magnet fishing with Leo. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah, I've got footage of both those things. Mm. My thing was when we went to the IF Festival in Milton Keynes. We went to an event called for the birds and it was a an installation well it so was it like was installation. in fact it's so random so beautiful so different different i'm not even going to bother explaining just watch, just it just watch. just watch you weren't but, meant to record it well you weren't they didn't like you to detract from taking it all in so. yeah so I, I did some sneaky footage but anyway it was excellent and i loved it so here is how the last two weeks unfolded good morning it's tuesday and i'm off to my mum's and we're going on a bit of a road trip i'm taking her back to brackley where she used to live so she can catch up with some friends the summer heat wave which has been oh so hot it's a little bit cloudy and a bit breezy out there this morning can't say i'm sad about that Wendy has been busy. Out. So, Mum's trying to decide which one for which grandchild for Christmas. Talk about starting early. That's I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So, what are you thinking, Mum? Have that one. Yeah, for Evie. 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 For Evie. Write the name. Oh, yours is Evie. <laughs> that one for Layla. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Now, what one for Mia? I, I really like the the that one the red one the red one oh the pink one's gorgeous <laughs> the pink one's the pink a one's definite a definite Don't i couldn't you. resist good thursday morning to you i running a little bit late now there's a surprise do you know for some things in my life i am never late always run on time and then for others i just perpetually seem to be running late this is a puzzling thing we're here at the Errol Flynn we've come to watch Ocean's 8, Ocean's 8. excited about this what do you think of that? good morning it is Friday 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 Glenn get in the shot get in the shot are you happy it's Friday it makes no difference to me. Well, oh, Friday's Friday's how Friday. Can, how can it you matter. say it makes no difference? Friday's There's a little squirrel. Hold on, let me see if I can get it. Look. He's gone. He's off ski. Friday, I mean, to be honest with you, if we worked every day, then I'd say, oh yeah, Friday. And we don't. So no. <laughs> we, our Friday could be a Monday. It could, it could it, be but a But you could still feel joy that it's oh, Friday. Yeah, Friday. Friday not still not feel much. joyful. Oh, okay. okay, Glenn, do you feel joyful? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I feel more joyful that we're going to go and get some art. We, well, I have the best Friday plan. Let me just say, I've been up since five o'clock and I was actually and awake at yeah, one, she, two, she three, woke me up various and four o'clock. I just couldn't sleep last night. It was so bloody hot. Then we had the fan on, the fan was noisy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, you know, fun. yeah, it was, it was all fine. It was all fine. But anyway, I've, it's nine o'clock. I've been up hours been up spoken to friends been for a walk did me meditation we are now off for a bacon sandwich and that's just a great way to start friday not just any bacon sandwich we're going to go maggie street bakery as well and that is going to be a bloody gorgeous sandwich Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Come over, Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm. Tuesday. Tuesday. 
so it's a drizzly evening but still fairly warm anyway we're off out to eat again this is second night running in fact no i did cook wednesday i did cook wednesday thank goodness for that i'm promising next week i'm gonna cook every night we've just not been well, organized tuesday. well apart from tuesday but we've just been not been organized this week in fact, the fridge is our fridge is a bit dicky in the uh, hot weather so yeah it's a poor excuse really so we're off out it's amazing it's amazing isn't it it's amazing isn't it I go with one of those. It's Saturday morning and Glenn is a man on a mission. He has decided, the crazy fool he is, to do something with the central heating system. So it's this, this radiator. One, it's, going come, it's coming down to the middle of this panel, so it'll probably come down to about here. Right. And it'll end about about there which would right. just take basically the two foot so okay that, so that when we put a sofa in there that it won't foul it yeah um so that means cutting it rejoin it i'll probably obviously cut it at the joints that are already here so that will do that and then down here is where i took the other radiator out but there's a i don't know if you can see that but there's a radiator just there Right. Um, so oh, there was a we, radiator there, here which that leaked. we never used. It leaked. Oh, it leaked, yeah. Yeah, which is why the floor rats all come up because it was all swollen. Okay, so. So that, I'll take those out and put some straight fits in there. Um, okay. Yeah. Are you feeling confident? Oh, I'm not bothered. I'm just more draining it out. It's just obviously I don't, you know, with a house you can just put a hose pipe outside and drain the system down into the drain because it has water in it. In, in the boat we've got antifreeze in our system so I can't just like let it out the side i've got plenty of container it's saturday afternoon and i've come to castle ashby with chloe and zara and we are going to food event so we have a couple of these some pecan pie some caramel crunch but look the choice was super tricky Ooh, we're back in the car now it's really hot out there we have cake we have milk for tea we've got cooper in the car we are heading back to chloe's to have afternoon tea it's obviously rained as well so just got back to the boat i'm really dreading what i find when i'm back there because everything's going to be in pieces it's been a job has it good morning northampton <laughs> it's Sunday. We're heading over to Wellingborough. We're going to give my mum and dad a hand to lay a couple of paving slabs. My dad's now got a ramp to so it, to enable him to get into the garden. They tried it out last week when we were away, and they didn't. They couldn't basically get back up the ramp. So yeah, he's been sleeping in the garden since then. No, he hasn't been sleeping in the garden since then. My mum pulled my dad's wheelchair back into the house. So, so we're thinking that just a couple of paving slabs where the ramp ends and the grass starts should be able to. I think I'll be the judge of that. I don't know who's so, why well, I said we're helping. Glenn, Glenn is helping. He's doing a great job, and I am just going to open this and see if I can start putting it together. Alrighty. What, darling? I see the other side of that mission coming, yeah? I've got to say, I'm mightily impressed with my chair. Well, half the chair, but it's working out. <laughs> oh, wow. It's just like sitting on the edge, like holding on. <laughs> that, that's because the, yeah, the thing's not skittering, but it's quite solid, isn't it? Not uh... I made that. Good 
of Monday morning tea. What a beautiful day it is. I know I've been saying that for weeks now because we've had just sunshine for weeks and weeks. But today, everywhere looks particularly beautiful. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Oh, another beautiful sunny day. No, nope, not bored of it yet. I've got a really nice Tuesday planned actually. Nemo is doing something with the kids today. So she's on a really tight budget and she's budgeted five pound a day every day for the summer holidays. Now, five pound a day with three young children is not a lot. She goes to lots and lots of free stuff. So today she's going to something that pets at home, I think. She's popping into my mum's uh, and we're gonna have a picnic in the garden. So it's very hot in the garden today. All we need is a bucket with some water, a couple of cloths, and we've got happy children. What have you got? Um, ice pole. Oh, you've got an ice yeah. pole? Is it keeping you cool? Yeah. Lovely. Oh my goodness. Look, red tomatoes. Doing well. Mm, can't say that for the Christmas tree though. But I'm very pleased with those. Hey, it's Thursday afternoon and it's another bloody scorching day. I've got an interview. I've just got back from the Citizens Advice Bureau. Yes, they said they'd have me, so that's really exciting. It's uh -huh. still really warm out here. So it's about quarter past ten. About quarter past ten. It's dark yeah. for quarter past ten. Let's just wait for the for the gate to shut. So there's an amazing moon out there. Tonight we went to Hops and Chops. Debbie took us and it was bloody it lovely. It tastes better when it's free. Oh, the meal was fantastic and it was a lovely treat. Well, you can probably treat someone had to work for that. <laughs> so, so Glenn, so Beth crashed the van and Glenn helped fix the van and help. then help sorry fixed sorry Glenn fixed the van and then Deb took because Beth was so traumatized by crashing the van that um Deb took us all out for a meal and it was her van that got crashed mm. bless her love her anyway hops and chops the food was a Again, it's Thursday afternoon. I've just got home from a day of meetings and doing stuff. And Glenn has painted the front of the boat and done stuff. So we've just arrived here. It's packed and we can't get table in the shade. So we are off somewhere else. Uh, sleepy girl. I'm going to say, I'm going to try to do this perfect one, do the thing that's going to be perfect. I think you should just look the same. What you got to tell me, Leo? I did this yesterday. Are you watching your skewers, yeah? How did you do that? Fell over in the park, outlining at, at Navy's. Oh, no. On the rocks in the park. Oh, man. Look at him. What have you? Oh. They got lollies. I mean, that's for fifty. That's for fifty p. We need to wait till we got some change, also, don't we? This one is one pound. It is, this one is, isn't it? This one is how much? One pound. Yeah. And this one is, you could do that much. Five p. Fifty p. Or one pound. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Are you pressing it? It's Friday morning, there was a bit of a storm last night apparently. I am off to get Leo. His mum's working today, so we've got him from sort of 8.30 till about three o'clock I think. I've just got out of bed, I look well rough, but I'm just nipping to Morrison's where I'm gonna meet them. I'm gonna grab some stuff for breakfast too. We're off on an adventure. Pappy has got a big magnet and we're going to go and see if we can find some treasure. 
Leo, let me come around this side. Hello. Uh, Leo, what do you want, what do you hope to find with the magnet in the water? Treasure. Treasure. What sort of treasure? Beep. What, darling? Just treasure. Just treasure. Any treasure. Just any treasure will do. Fine. Let's see. So, Pappy, what you got here? There it is. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. We found some treasure. It has something in the middle. There's bugs on it. This, we do not think has been in there for a long time. I mean, it looks like mini headphones, but it's not. <laughs> mini headphones for a little person. Get your own somewhere. No, it's not your own. was critical mass taking back the streets for cyclists so now on to Milton Keynes driving around for some time trying to read these really small instructions now Glenn has done what we should have done in the first place and put in his sat nav so Glenn has decided not to park in the designated parking area because he thinks this is closer so we have no signs to the event at all and we're now trekking across some park having just trekked through a village so yeah not quite sure where we're going. I'm really hoping that's not somebody's house and we're trekking through their garden. Honestly, never follow Glenn when he's trying to find a shortcut. Doing, Glenn? Saving the headlights. Well, I'm just making them nice. I've got them all in pieces. The other two cheaper black ones I've just painted. And obviously, I'm redoing the front. I've got a bit of, still a bit of work to do there, but the weather's a bit pants today. So I just thought I'd do inside stuff now. And then while I've got the lights off, just strip them down, clean them all up, make them look a little bit shiny. Shiny. Back in the room. 
yeah so that was it not bad was it not bad couple of weeks i didn't week. think we'd actually done anything but it appears that we have done quite and a lot an epic video a movie an hour and a half that Lisa normally ends up with no it won't be an hour and a half hopefully this video this video is almost over if you've mm. got this far thank you cheers yeah and don't forget press the subscribe button next week back to normal with our regular weekly videos i'm gonna try my hardest that these go up tuesday at seven o'clock interesting concept for in the evening yeah yeah that's it i'm gonna i'm gonna commit it's gonna mix it up i'm gonna commit to a tuesday 7 p.m video bye see you next week